We're here at the grand opening of the University of Minnesota's Aquatic Invasive Species Research Center. This is a culmination of a couple of years of trying to figure out what to do about invasive species in Minnesota. One of the things that they've come up with is we need more science. I found myself repeatedly going down to the legislature being asked what to do and repeatedly telling people I didn't know what to do because I didn't know enough. And I'm glad they didn't think I was an idiot. They actually thought that maybe we didn't know enough, which was really wonderful. And then eventually the conversation got around to what would you do? I said, well, uh, let's do some science here. Uh, it seems to be the only way forward, and that's been the history of solving complex problems in the natural world like this, is with the science. And right here behind us is a facility that's being renovated with uh, millions of dollars in taxpayer money to help figure out what we're going to do about invasive carp, including the common carp that's been here for years, zebra mussels, which are expanding constantly, and the silver or jumping Asian carp that uh, everyone fears, as well as uh, plant species and all kinds of little critters and green things that are invading our lakes and streams throughout Minnesota.